Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in return with having. What I'm sort of amazed about today is that most people aren't really thinking about how they set their career towards their living. You see, a lot of kids go off to school with this idea based on what their parents can afford in living and what they've been able to afford because of the parents giving to their lives. So a lot of children of affluent households, a lot of young women will go off to school and pick a major that does not produce a living. We definitely have that problem in our educational systems at universities and colleges where they are promoting majors that do not lead to business or careers. American government and American culture needs to start to evolve to the point that we work backwards in our planning of those educational programs and certification trainings. What are the most jobs available today in America? This is where you should begin your planning for educational training. What is the most available to you and how is, what is the highest amount of money you can earn in general if you're a part of that worker's demographics and population? Not what is the highest you could ever possibly make in that career path because that's presuming you're going to take a straight shot to the presidency of some corporation, which just doesn't happen very often today. Even if you're a small business owner, an independent contractor, an autonomous salesperson, you still have a place in which you cap out and tap out because of the industry that you chose. So while there's all that potential to be a million dollar earner, you have to be realistic about your competition, the city in which you live in, and the opportunities which are given today. What we know about the housing industry long ago is that it tanked and fell. That costed a lot of realtors, a lot of mortgage brokers, a lot of bankers their jobs. And openly what people are always surprised at is why when they lose a job, and they lose it, usually lose a job because they have failed to align themselves with proper society, not at all, but they've simply failed to align themselves with proper pr propriety and the interpersonal relationships with their boss. In life, we have to talk about truth. And there are things that are truth to you, but there are things that are true to someone else. What is truth to you may not be your rights in someone else's life. What is true to you may not be your opportunities in life because they do not belong to you. They never were supposed to be for you, and openly they did not stay strong in you. In order to produce a living today, in order to produce a career today, you have to always be life learning about your industry standards, its quality service agreements, its vendor responsibilities, and how it serves people, products, or programs today. Politicians of the day have to get on top of education instead of parading themselves in front of young children who will never have a chance to vote for them in this nation. And they openly have to put together the best minds in education and research and marketing in order to figure out how we keep America strong going forward into the next generation.